And so what's going on is you can see they take the tarps from the top of the roof and then they drop them down to the ground. Once they go to the ground, we've got sand snakes and different heavy weighted materials that keep them down to the ground. These are very heavy, full of sand. I use these at the bottom. Once the tarps come down, you can see we put carpet on the edge, all the sharp edges, wherever the tarp could get torn. Put danger signs all around the building. It's a warning. The doors are all double locked. So that no one can go in mistakenly. All right, we're dropping some off over the edge. Tarp. We've got to stand back here a little bit because some of those loose tiles could fall and hit us. Probably about 65 feet there to the edge. See the tarp gets bunched up and caught. It's not the easiest flowing process. And if the wind were to catch one of those, it would lift right up. And if the man wasn't careful on the other end, it would pick him up as well. Take him away. You see how much the wind picks it up real quick. Once the air gets underneath there. probably the most dangerous part of it is when the wind gets underneath and lift. It happens so fast, it's almost uncontrollable. There's a pretty good wind right now. It's really blowing open now. See, they're trying to fight it. Opens up like a big wind sail. It's like trying to mast a big ship. Alright, I gotta turn this off and go help them. That's how we normally do it right there. Put the tarps right on your back. Get your butt on that ladder and carry it up. Ain't nothing easy about this work. So that was me 20 years ago. Just set it right there on your back. Climb the ladder as normal. Try not to look down. Take that all the way up there. Cover the tower. See, this is one of the roof guys. He's got harnesses on protect him from falling off once he gets up top, clips himself to a bolted 
anchored uh, strap and secures himself. The hoist we're using to get the material up. Normally we walk it up with a ladder and uh, have those tarps on our back rolled up. Today we're using the crane. A lot safer. And uh, not to mention this building's about six stories tall. All these sections of the tarp right here that are open will be pulled together and seamed. And I'll clamp them together with clips that he has right there on his way. So I'll use those clamps. So when the tarp comes down to the ground, you can see we use these sandbags like I was telling you. And uh, right here, this is tape. So we take the uh, tarp where it comes to the stairs here and uh, you tape it down. Make sure that you get a nice, tight, airtight seal. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something pretty interesting. You see uh, these tarps, they come to ground and then they seam them all the way to that point. And that's mainly because uh, that's as high as the ladder would go. And there's nothing to stand on from there to there. So what's going to have to happen now is we're going to have to get a man to dangle over the edge and uh, hold on to the tarp, seaming it together and clamping it while he dangles with a harness on. So we'll come back over here when he starts doing that. That would be interesting. goes he's gonna go over the edge you gotta trust his buddy there holding him you gotta go over the edge and then he's just gonna hang there gonna start doing his seams oh there goes his hat yeah, there goes his hat Better his hat than him. You know, the wind's picking up, so that'll just make matters a little harder for him. Alright guys, just about done wrapping this place up. I'm gonna put the final seam on it. And uh Shoot the gas, call it a day.